The Missouri Sports Hall of Fame is getting a new class of inductees today. Some of the biggest names from across the state were in Springfield on Sunday for the enshrinement. Jacob Sersosimo has more. The Missouri Sports Hall of Fame class of 2023 consists of 14 individuals and four teams receiving the honor. A lot of those names very recognizable locally, some of them very popular on a national level. One, two, three. Good. One of the most recognizable names of this year's class, Kansas City Royal great Brett Saberhagen. Very honored to be a, a part of this uh, 2023 uh, class with these guys and women. Saberhagen won two American League Cy Young Awards. Baseball has done a lot of great things for me. Um, and this, this would be one of them, the recognition of uh, what I did in Kansas City. From an all-time great to a household name. Tyler Hansborough made a name for himself on the basketball court. Being uh, inducted to the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame, it's about my community too. So there's a lot of people that helped me uh, get to where I am. And with that help, Hansborough won two state titles with Poplar Bluff before winning a national championship at North Carolina. And even with national success, Missouri has a special place in his heart. When I think back on my basketball journey, like, Popper Bluffs, some of the best memories. Back in Springfield at Missouri State, Bears basketball all-time leading scorer Daryl Garrison is a Hall of Famer. And I'm just honored. I mean, when I think about my achievements, um, I'm still amazed after 40, 49 years to even be recognized on this level uh, for uh, the play uh, here in, in uh, Missouri State. Garrison was a Bear from 1971 to 75. From the hard court to the gridiron, Sean Weatherspoon is one of the best linebackers to ever wear a Missouri uniform. Weatherspoon was a three-time first-team All-Big 12 selection from 2007 to 2009. Just getting that call and knowing that my time here that I spent was something that meant a lot to not just to me and my family, but to other people. That, that really did it for me. And to the high school ranks, Bob Kinlock is a staple of wrestling in the Ozarks. Kinlock spent more than half of a century as the wrestling coach at Springfield Central and played a key role in growing the sport of wrestling in Springfield. It has grown, and uh, there's a lot of good wrestlers, a lot of good wrestling coaches, and uh, uh, the administration has been, uh, you know, receptive to the program where at one time it wasn't. Another historic class with a lasting impact on Missouri sports. For KY3 Sports, I'm Jacob Sersosimo. Hmm.